yeah, as you all come back on, I'll tell you what happened. Ah, <sighs> life. Technology. Don't you love it? Okay, so I'm going to switch it around and let's get back and I'm going to show you how to put these stamps together. All right. So here we are again. Pop on again, please. When you pop, when you pop on, I hope you can rejoin me. How annoying. It's very annoying when that happens. Alright, are we here? Is anyone here? Have you joined me? Hey again. <laughs> Hi Vicky. Hi Michelle. Were you here before Vicky? I didn't remember I don't remember seeing you. Hey Cherie and Cherilee, I know you guys were here before and Kay. Hi. So, you know what happened? My husband called me. And I declined his call and then the feed ended. So it must have upset upset something. All right, I'm, so I'm showing you how to put stamps together, right? We're doing this one more time for anyone who hasn't seen it before. So I have taken, here we go, this was here on the sheet, and normally you would peel these off and stick it onto the back of your stamps, but instead I start them just to make it easier to get them later, then I pull off the whole thing so the label's on the back, and then I stick that to my block, face down. And because I've got these bits already started, it's really easy to peel them off. And then I put my piece here. I'll do it the same way so I can see. That says wishing you a wonderful birthday. So I want wishing you that way. All right. And I'm going to pop this. going to bring my head in so hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. And I'm going to put that on there like that. And now it's perfectly lined up, ready to go. All right. That's how to do it super super easy I love this method of doing it because because yeah the other way was was more difficult I think I'm just having a look to see if there's anything else I'm actually going to do this this stamp set this stamp here wishing you a wonderful birthday so I'm going to do it fast this time okay take the back off get the Sorry, it's not wonderful birthday. This is the life has changed for you one. I'm going to peel my, start my bits here in the middle of the join. Yes, part two. I hope Jenny finds us too. It does normally put up a messy, oh, that, I didn't want that to come off. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It did come off. I'm going to take the whole thing back from here. Um, and I'll find a small, uh, more, more square block. This one's a bit long. So let me put this down. So I'm just sticking it straight onto the block. Just like that. Pull the rest of the back off. And then my says life has changed. So that's this one here. And it's going to line up. You can see the shape of it. Just like that. So there we go. Okay. Now, if it doesn't work, we've always got the punch option that we talked about before, right? So I'm actually going to go with the navy. Yeah, I hope we. I hope we haven't lost Jenny, but it doesn't look like she's come back again. I hope she's managed to find it. That's a shame. My husband had obviously, he's at work, and he's obviously forgotten that I'm doing a live recording. He knows this every Sunday night, but he periodically forgets. You know what? That's a little bit crooked. I'm having one of those nights where crooked just seems to be my thing. So instead, I'm going to stamp on here. Now I think this might look nicer anyway. Well, that's my excuse. Seriously? Bits around the back. Let's turn that over and go again. Don't go so, don't push so hard this time. And I'm going to use 
use my same punch I used before. This is the Everyday Label Punch. I'm going to line that up where I want it. I do find it easier to, to stamp first and then punch because then you don't have to worry about trying to get it perfectly straight on the punch. Alright, now do I have, I'm just looking to see if I have a, I'm going to go with Barney Blue I think. What colour is this? Is this? That's no, fine. Oh, it would have been in the last video, um, Christine. Which I could probably go and find. You know what? I feel like I need another another dauber. Well, this one's actually got navy on it. We'll just go with a darker colour. It won't really matter. It's just to give the just to give it a nice edge around here. I have tried using the blending brushes to do edging, but they don't work very well for that. They're great to work on flat sheets of paper, but not good to edge over because they're bristles. They're not sponges, and I think sponges work better for this. You can do it, but it's kind of tricky, and you don't get a great, as good a result, in my opinion. Right, so that's going to end up here. I'm just thinking, would a bit of ribbon on this be nice, or should we leave it as it is? <laughs> the chat's not available. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's. I was trying to see the other day how to how to view the chat, and sometimes I can, and sometimes I can't, and I'm wondering why that is I'm not sure I think maybe instead of ribbon I might just use the balmy blue gems let me find those balmy blue gems here they are and I've got some big ones and some small ones uh, I might go with a bigger one here and a smaller one here. Where shall we put the other one, guys? Oh, 48 hours later. Thank you for telling me that. See, now I didn't know that. I wonder why I could see it on some of my videos and not others, and I guess it's the ones that were longer ago. This one here, in the middle of this little swirly thing. Yeah, there we go. Now that's a simple card. They're both simple cards. And I only used, really, the one stamp. I did think about doing, I had another piece cut out here in case I decided to use the little flower, this one here. But I might do that, I was thinking about putting it this way, and I might do that on another another card that I'll put up later in the week but these turned out nice I love I love the colors the blues all sort of fading in together I think that works really well what do you think very simple bit stepped up but they're both simple cards really yes evening evergreen is a great color I love that color <laughs> yes, stamp first, Christine, correct. And then, ah, oh, yes, if you have a stamparatus, you don't need to worry about that because it's always perfect, right? Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like them. For, for pretty simple cards, I think they work. Try and put that thing that way. There we go. All right, well, I might call that a night. Where do you put your... Oh, where you put your sentiment. Um... I'm just trying to see what that comment relates to, Shirley. Blue is. Blue and white always just looks fantastic. In the last catalogue, we had that beautiful blue and white paper called um, Boho Indigo, which was just 
blues and white and it was just probably my favorite paper in that catalog it was just beautiful um, we do in the new catalog let me quickly grab it we have this other paper let me see if it's here um, and that paper is from the new set that just came out the, the symmetry set this paper here and it has a blue and white paper in it that I just look look at this this is that that says me all over I love this I think that's so beautiful blue blue mostly blue not really much white but I think it would look nice with white so I would put this with a you know do a blue and white card with this paper and I plan to because it's just stunning lovely lovely paper so there you go and we didn't even end up using any of the elegant paper <sighs> oh well there's lots lots of time I'll come back and don't you worry post some more cards I hope if you guys aren't already make sure you um, like my Instagram page because that's where I post all my new cards so what happens is here's my process I make a card I think I like it so I put my watermark on it and then I upload it to Instagram now Instagram automatically posts to my Facebook page as well so whatever goes on Instagram also goes on my Facebook page then I have a private VIP car, uh, page so if you're in Australia and um, you are either a customer or a team member of mine or you'd like to be um, then join the VIP group because I do a few different things with the girls in the VIP group um, and I post in there some probably more personal things um, and then on Friday nights I do my Facebook live if, if you like my page then you will see those come up automatically and then Sunday nights of course I do this one um, so I've got a few things going on during the week I have a blog as well but I actually have lately I've only been putting up blog posts once or maybe twice a week which is a bit naughty because um, Facebook and Instagram are getting all the love at the moment so um, you'll find me there most of all so if you'd like to see more of what I'm posting um, then then definitely yeah definitely um, go check out those things Instagram and uh, on Instagram my account name is Linda Stampin L-I-N-D-A-S-T-A-M-P-I-N and on Facebook I'm Linda Dolkey Stampin Up Demonstrator um, so that's pretty easy to find so put the bling on the sentiment I see what you're saying so instead of here maybe here but then I think I feel like I want to move that one but that looks nice actually maybe down a little bit maybe there yeah I think you can see it a bit better there it's a bit more it stands out a bit more doesn't it this one had to go here because it was a little tiny blob here that I wanted to cover and there's a tiny tiny little blob up there as well I could probably get away with not covering that one but that was the reason why that piece that that little bit of bloom ended up there so there you go are you in Australia Shirley because if you are you are more welcome to be in my VIP group especially if you're not a demonstrator <laughs> I, I guess the reason why is because I do more giveaways in my VIP group um, and things like that and I, like I said get quite personal so I prefer not to have people that I um, that are either overseas that I can't mail too easily or that are other demonstrators that I, it's of no value to me to to um, to be sending stuff out to other demonstrators really <laughs> so um, that's the reason why yes we are back Jenny you made it hello hi everyone's been saying where's Jenny where did she go <laughs> Yes, I, um, I was explaining to the other girls that my husband rang, made a phone call in the middle of that video because he'd obviously forgotten that I was live tonight and um, and as a result it locked up and the feed stopped so uh, I lost the stream which basically then I had to come back and, and do the same. So there we go. Alright. Okay. So I'm, but I'm sorry, Jenny. Now that you're arrived, um, I'm about to go. I was just about to say goodbye. Does anyone have any questions? Or ah, okay, that makes sense. Um, does anyone have any questions? Or has anyone got something that you would like to see me create with next time, if I have it? Ah, oh, okay, you're in Cranbourne North. Yep, down in Victoria. 
by all means you can cheerily so um my uh it's fairly easy to find let me see it's just the private vip group uh, let me find it for you it's called linda dolkey's private stampin vip group that's what it's called so if you search for that you should find it and if not um either um message me which you're very welcome to do um and i think i usually put my email address in my things as well so you're always welcome to email me does anyone have anything that they would like me to create with another time if i have it do i have the white chalk type pen yes i do although i don't know i don't know if um if my chalk pen i have one but it's a long time since i used it and i don't know if it's up to scratch i might have to buy a new one so which i can certainly add that to my next order and do something with it for you i, I actually really like um the white chalkboard look i haven't done anything with that for a while i might have to do some chalkboard stuff um it's actually part polish dolky is part, it's pronounced dolky like a like a doll and a key that you might use in a door like a barbie doll and a key doll key um and my husband it used to have it, it also was um part like polish german that kind of thing but it had an h in it which was the german spelling of the name so it was d-a-h-l-k-e and the town that my husband comes from in michigan um over in the u.s he um there are a lot of dolkies still spelt the old way and then there are dolkies spelt the new way because his grandfather, his father's father, was um, in World War II, fought in World War II and was actually captured by the Germans twice and escaped twice. Um, and he's quite, he was quite decorated, he's now passed away, but he was quite a decorated soldier. But he came back from the war very, very bitter and um, he decided to change the spelling of the name because he didn't want the German spelling. That's that's the story behind it. So, um, yeah. But um, he, my husband is from um, Manistee, Michigan, which is on the right near Lake Michigan, far west of Michigan State in the U.S. And that's where his his parent his parents live. Do I have any baby sets? Not specifically baby sets. Um, Garden Wishes I don't have. I have Dragonfly, the Dragonfly one, but not the Garden Wishes. <laughs> um, artistically Inked, yes. And Cherie, I did a video with that the other night. Um, oh, was it a Facebook Live? Or was it... I can't remember which one. It might have been a Facebook Live. But it was either, either my last YouTube video or it was a Facebook Live. Um, and yeah, I really, really love that set. And I have done quite a bit with it. I, I did some cards with it yesterday, which you may have seen me post. Um, so these were from my launch yesterday. And they're actually exactly the same card, but one uses the, the inked background and the other one uses the stripes. And I put up a post yesterday asking people, which one do you like best? Because I wasn't sure which one to go with. So I did one of each and let them choose. But they turned out really nice interesting those are exactly the same size card but the stripes to me make that card look wider which is kind of interesting but maybe that's just me thinking that etched in nature yes um, I have it um, and I haven't done a lot with it but I have got that one I love the birdhouse set Cindy that's one of my favorites I've got a little tag on that one in my um, catalog um, because I would really, really, really see his catalogue with lots of tags and I know I've got one on the birdhouse. That birdhouse set speaks to me. This one here. Yep, see I've got my tag here on page 107. Love it. That's so cute. But I don't, I don't have it yet. It's on my wish list. Ah, Cherie's in Queensland. Got people all over the place. I love that. Yes, Facebook most likely. That's quite likely. Yes, you did just hear a bird. <laughs> That's my cockatiel cookie. 
uh, Cherie, to sign up for the VIP, you need to go into Facebook and put in Linda Dolkey's private Stampin' VIP group. Um, I can actually, let me see if I can put up the... I'm just seeing if I have that group number. Hmm, it's giving me a really long URL, so I can't post it in the comments because it's not the correct URL. Um, I don't know why that is. Let me try something different. Oh, there we go. That's better. Alright, so I'll give it to you and I'm going to post it in the comments and if you use that link, it should work for you. Hi Marty, you're in Holland. Woohoo, that's exciting. I'm just getting ready to say goodnight, but, um, but I'm sort of, um, what's the word, dragging it out here at the end because um, people are asking a few questions. Yeah, yeah it is. I know about, um, that was how it was originally spelt, was with an H, Christine, you're right. Yeah, this bit's sad. Yeah, Cookie and I. Cookie has been in my life. I've had him for 21, 22 years. I got him in 1999. So he's been around for a long, long time. They live 25 to 30 years. And I'm hoping we'll have him for a good while yet. He's, um, he's a gorgeous little thing. <laughs> oh. Yes, Facebook is handy for certain things, and for me, it's definitely handy um, to be able to do business on Facebook, and I reach a lot of people, because a lot of my customers are on Facebook, so why not be there, because that's where they are. Um, and of course, the ones that aren't on Facebook sometimes are on YouTube, and that's why I'm here. So it helps me, it helps me connect with more people. I mean, I, I think it would be silly to only do Facebook, because, you know, what about all the people that aren't on Facebook? So... Um, you know, helps me reach as many people as I can. Oh, you have a cockatiel too! Ah. What's your cockatiel's name, Cherie? You know what, Wendy? That's so true. Birds are one, are a one person animal. They tend to really get fixated on one person and then the other poor person, um, you know, doesn't get, doesn't get the love. I'm just seeing that this is a bit blurry. I noticed that I... Why is that? Why is it blurry? It's not looking blurry through my phone, but it looks blurry on my computer. So that might be a... Um... So anyway, we're just chit-chatting now. Um, and there's probably not a lot else I need to say tonight with regards to these cards. I'm going to post them. I'll post them on my Instagram page, and of course they'll be on the Facebook page. Um, if you want to go and have a look at them, you can see them over there. Um, and yes, please um, hit the like button or follow me over there because um, that way you'll get to see more of what I do. <laughs> Bert. Bert the bird. All right, everyone, I hope you have a fantastic Sunday night wherever in the world you are. And um, let's get back together again soon. I'll be here again next Sunday night, 7.30. And of course, then we have um, Friday night with Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, you'll see me there as well. Have a great week, everyone. As we launch into a new week, I hope it's going to be a good one. And um, I'm my heart is in Maui right now, but I'm physically here in Australia, and it's a little bit cold. So um, wish me luck as I rug up and wear lots of blankets this week. <laughs> See you soon, people. Have a great week. Bye-bye.